Hi, Virgos. Thank you for viewing me today, my beautiful Virgos. Welcome in and welcome back to Searchlight Tarot and happy Sunday. My name is Elena. If you've never viewed me, I am going to get some cards right now for your current energies. If it sounds like something you are going through, this is your reading. Hope you're having a beautiful day. Adjacent possibilities flew out during my pre-shuffle. I saw all those opening doors around you right now. Mercury retrograde is over and it's fast forward speed ahead. I've been looking at the energies. They have been amazing. We're going to get started right now for Virgos, please. Current energies. This is going to be your current energies. I'll be looking at what's coming in for you in just a few minutes. And then I'll do love crossing at the end. Spirit guides for Virgos. Strongest energies around the sign of Virgos. This reading is for. What would you like to show me? Thank you. Current energies for the sign of Virgos. This reading is for, please. Thank you. Anything else? Thank you. Okay. Underneath the deck is the seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel. It's your crown chakra. I have the golden card of appreciation, and I have a woman holding a heart. I feel that spirit guides are telling me that right now, Virgos, a lot of new doors are opening and it's to your abundance and happiness and community. And that means everything is starting to come together in the tree of love and life. I feel that there's big energies around you, knowing what you deserve, staying in this beautiful, beautiful energy. This is your energy, Virgos. It's the nine of pentacles. Telling me that you need to stay open to everything with your mind. Stay open to everything with your crown chakra because it's where we receive our information and put out to the universe what we want. I feel the spirit guides are telling me you're starting to get the recognition that you deserve. There's new doors opening around you. It's doors of your abundance, doors of happiness. But spirit is telling me for you to really tap into something you truly want with your heart right now, Virgos, because everything is coming together. I feel that if you've been feeling lately that things have just been blowing through, but there's been no direction, Spirit is telling me right now everything is starting to fit. Let's look. I just feel it. I don't know why. Got a lot of cards. First card to my left is the sun. You guys, this is a card of more optimism. You're coming back into the sun, feeling like things are possible again. I have some anxiety here. This is a card of worrying about the unknown. I feel the spirit guides are telling me if you still get in your head about some things, Virgos, get back into the sun, get back into endless possibilities, get back into thriving through the power of positive thinking. I feel the spirit guides are telling me what's going on around you right now is new doors of abundance are opening and the community is telling me that the people you're connecting with right now are going to make things happen for you because you're in the golden energy of appreciation. I have happy family, happy, happy, and I have journey, wow. You know, journey is telling me that you're going on a new chapter. You're going into new chapters. You're crossing the bridge. There's a lot of things going on around you, Virgos. And Spirit is saying, stay on the path of what you want and don't let go of your own manifestations. Spirit is saying that a lot of new journeys are before you and they're starting right now. What seemed like it was something that was blocked before, the doors are now open. Spirit is saying that you're crossing the bridge. You're going on a new journey. When we go into new journeys, it's new chapters. I have deceit. Wow. Last card they gave me is contract. This is unbelievable. I'm not going to lie to you. Taurus got the same cards and I've been shuffling and cleansing. Contract. Here we go. This is a card of justice. The universe making everything balanced in your life. If there's been energies recently around you that you feel you've been deceived or you thought that everybody was against you, Spirit wants me to tell you that what you're, where you're going right now is places to your ultimate happiness. This entity on the bridge is dropping a blue crystal on the side of the bridge. Blue is the color of manifestations. Spirit guides are telling you right now, Virgos, to hold on to something you truly want with your heart. Doors of abundance now open. What seems shut from before, spirit guides are telling me for you to hold on to everything you put work into because your crown chakra is open and get ready to receive. I feel that happy family is everything's connecting for you about your happiness right now. I feel that you're coming back into the sun. If there's been energies of worry, spirit is saying, let it go. Literally, let it go. 
drop any worries you have on the side of the bridge and keep holding on to what it is you want to create in the next few weeks to month. I feel spirit is telling me if there's been energies where you've been feeling like people have been deceiving you or you feel that people have been blocking you, spirit wants me to remind you that everything is about karma and justice. That no matter what's been done wrong to you will now be done right. Something in your life is coming back into balance. Nobody escapes karmic justice. They don't forget your address. And the universe is telling me that everything is working to play out in your favor right now. You're going on a new journey. A new door to abundance is opening up. The card of deceit and anxiety. Spirit is telling me for you to let it go. Drop your worries on the side of the bridge and move forward. Cross over to the other side of abundant beginnings. Because what's waiting there for you is a lot of happiness. Hold on to something you truly want with your heart right now. Go after everything you want with love. And Spirit is telling me to tell you that everything is coming together. The people you're meeting right now, the connections you're with, they're all making things happen for you. Whatever you've been going through, Spirit is saying you need to learn to let it go and cross that bridge because you're going on new journeys. Your incoming energies is going to show me that what's coming for you is a lot of abundance and happiness and it's going to happen fast. The retrograde is over. We are moving full speed ahead right now. It's just taken a little bit of time for everything to move fast. But Spirit is saying, you have the sun around you. You have the golden energy of appreciation. This is who you are, Virgos. You are the card of self-mastery. But I feel Spirit Guides are telling me if there's situations in your life that you feel have been done wrong to you, uh, Spirit Guides want me to tell you that right now everything is about to be made right. So stay in what you deserve and stay in the power of the sun and know that wherever you're going right now, you're crossing over to the other side of the bridge for a new journey, new chapters, new beginnings with love, life, happiness. It's all coming together for you right now. I feel that a path has been clear for you in the last three weeks. You know, perhaps you've had some ups and downs. Perhaps you've had something that you feel has been done wrong to you. When this card shows up last, Spirit is saying everything's about to be made right. Wow, I love your energies, Virgos. This is beautiful. I've been looking at the energies the past few days. They've been amazing. Your incoming is going to tell me all I need to know, but it's going to be beautiful. Guaranteed. Now, I'm going to look at your recent past, Virgos. I don't know why, but I'm going over here. There are messages there for everyone. Nine of Cups, your wish fulfillment, but everything felt like a giant weight. I feel recently behind you, you took some time out and perhaps you had some nighttime anxiety and always felt like nothing was moving and you always felt like you were stuck. I feel that there were things hidden from you and it was to teach you about trusting and what has been done to you will be made right. You had to learn something about balance and you had to learn something about trusting in the unknown and you had to get over a position of feeling as if everything was a weight about your wishes coming into fruition. I feel that you had to trust in the universe and you had to know that even though things may not have been moving, they were going to play out in divine timing because that's what spirit guides are telling me to tell you right now. Recent past, whatever you've been through was to teach you something about your scales being out of whack and what you deserve. Recent past for Virgos, please. Strongest messages. What do I need to see? Strongest messages. Recent past for the sign of Virgo. Thank you, Spirit Guides. Recent past for the sign of Virgo. What would you like to show me? Recent past for the sign of Virgo. Thank you. I have the Emperor. Now, the Emperor is big energy because this is about power and taking charge. You had to crawl your way out of something that left you in a rabbit hole of sadness. Now, this may not be everybody's reading. I always tell people that if it sounds like your current energy is feeling like a lot of things have been done not right to you, when is something going to change? Spirit is saying it's going to change right now. It's changing right now. But the Five of Cups is telling me whatever you've been through puts you down a rabbit hole of sadness. It's a place where we have to crawl our way out and realize that there is hope again. You had to learn to take charge of a situation. You had to come back into the Emperor power. You know, the Emperor is Aries energy, but it was telling me you had to take charge of something that pushed you down a rabbit hole of sadness. You had to realize that new leaps of faith were all around you. This is about you trusting in taking a leap with something, taking a chance with something, and laying down a fight. The Nine of Wands is the wounded warrior. 
sometimes it's better to lay down the fight than constantly push against the energies. And Spirit is telling me all along it was pushing towards the light at the end of the tunnel. But you had to learn something about going after everything with love and staying in your own energy of commitment and faith, the Hierophant. You had to learn to stand your own ground about something, come back into your power. Realizing that emotional disappointments, everybody goes through them, but you crawled your way out. You got out of it. Good for you, Virgos. You came back into a lot of power. I have the star. You did a lot of hope and faith. Now, the star is Aquarius energy, but it's telling me that you had to find balance and harmony again with your own healing energy. You had to realize that miracles do happen. I have the Eight of Wands. Beautiful things actually kept flying at you. I feel recently behind you, the Eight of Wands are good omens that kept coming at you to help you heal. It could have been people, it could have been situations, but whatever you went through taught you something about having hope again. I have the Queen of Fire. Love the Queen of Fire. And I have your Ten of Cups. Whatever. This is coming into your current energies, you guys. The Queen of Fire is determination charisma, passion, feeling alive. But you had to learn something about your own will and determination, about your own happiness. You had to learn something about your own strength, your own what you deserve. Realizing that emotional disappointments, you crawled your way out. I know you did. I saw the emperor. This is all coming into your current energies. Here comes the wheel of fortune. This is luck and right timing. This is the universe aligning something for you. And the last card they gave you is right now, choose things wisely, the Seven of Cups. You know, the Seven of Cups is all about choices, options, decisions. But Spirit is telling me that whatever you've been through that you healed from, that you had to find harmony with again with yourself, that brought you back into determination of what you do deserve, Spirit is telling me that the wheel is actually aligning something in your favor. There's a lot of opportunities of things coming in for you with new, new love, new choices, new options. But Spirit is telling me for you to hold on to something you truly want with your heart. Choose things wisely because it's leading you to your ultimate happiness right now. There's a lot of connections, a lot of things coming together for you. That's the card of the tree of love and life. Spirit is saying that whatever's been done wrong to you from the past, the universe is about to make it right. The wheel is showing up, telling me that justice is at play, you guys, and the wheel. Spirit is telling me that in the incoming energies, which I'm about to look right now, that what's coming in is all your scales are about to be balanced and the universe is going to make something right and play out in your favor for your happiness. Whatever you've been through, you crawled your way out. And the universe is saying that that Mercury retrograde and what we've been through was looking at the shadow side of situations in our life that pushed us down a rabbit hole of sadness. But you got your way out, Virgos, and spirit guides are saying, and now you will be rewarded. Beautiful. Beautiful. I'm looking at what's coming in for you now. I'm going to use the compass cards. I don't know why, but we're going here. Underneath the deck, I'll take a few cards. I got the sacred pool, and there's your wishing well, and here comes peaks of joy. I never know what's under these decks. And the magical map shifter. Something in your life is about to change at a rapid rate. It's something that you've been putting out there for a long time, Virgos. Peaks of joy are telling me that there's a lot of new things flying your way. There's something you've been putting out there. I got a funny feeling it has to do with love. I see a woman holding a heart right now, and it's about happiness. And I feel whatever's been done to you wrong in the past is about to be made right in the incoming energies. Next few weeks for Virgos. Thank you. What would you like to show me for the sign of Virgo's incoming strongest oracles? What would you like to show me, please? Thank you. Thank you. Anything else? Oh, that card flew out. You guys, heal the ouch, and here comes the strength card. Spirit is telling me you can reach your hand out now because the chapter is closed behind you. It's time for you to learn that whatever you've been through was to teach you something about your own strength. I feel my spirit guides are telling me to tell you that new journeys now begin. Be open to all these new chapters you're about to enter. Heal yourself from whatever you've been through and get ready for a new life chapter. It's beautiful, Virgos. The first card that flew to my left, though, is Ghostlands. It's a clock. Underneath the clock is I have the Bone Collector. Holy mackerel. That's the dream catcher, you guys. Spirit guides are telling me that something in your life is about to shift at a rapid rate. 
and it's something that you've been putting out there for a long time it's something that you've tapped into your inner wisdom with you guys there's a clock right next to the bone collector there's a clock in the ghost lands spirit is telling me you're about to catch a dream you're about to catch something that you've been putting out there for a long time or you felt nothing was going to change. Everything's about to shift. And it's going to happen fast. Here it comes, slow and steady. And then we have flying. You guys, spirit guides are telling me something's flying in at you to push you forward. It's going to push you into the right direction. The slow and steady card literally is a snail, but it has wings on it. It's like you're going to be in this energy of flying again. You're moving forward. You're going to be feeling like there's more new possibilities, abundant beginnings before you. The energy coming in for you is to push you forward, to get you to something, to catch your dream. The clock is shifting from ghost lands to the dream catcher. You guys, this is beautiful. I have the one ring circus. I want you to look at this card. I want you to see the elephant on the ledge above a body of emotion. My spirit guides are telling me, you, you, you are your own ringmaster. You can control everything, you guys, the new moon for new beginnings. Spirit guides are telling me that you have the strength, you have the wisdom from something you've learned from before. I feel the spirit guides are telling me you're going on new journeys, new beginnings are here. And the last card they gave me is rock bottom. It's a big message. Spirit guides are telling me if you feel like you keep hitting a wall, Get back on top of your elephant, Virgos. Have the strength and courage and control the situations around you for new beginnings. Something in your life is shifting from the ghost lands, feeling like nothing was moving to the dream catcher. You guys, this was beautiful. And you guys had the wheel of fortune with contract justice. I feel my spirit guides are telling me, stop going against energies where nothing's moving. Get back on your elephant and claim your strength. Never forget where you've been. And spirit guides are trying to tell me, and look where you're going. It's all new beginnings, you guys. Something in your life is shifting at a drastic rate. You're about to catch one of your dreams. You have the wings. You're moving forward. You have it with flying. Things are going to start moving at a rapid rate but they want you to claim your own power. They want you to stay in your own strength and control the situations around you. If you feel like you're going up against the wall, Spirit is saying, climb back on top of your elephant and trudge forward. Control your own emotion. Take charge of situations because something in your life is shifting so you can catch something for new beginnings and something you've been wanting for a long time. And I think it has to do with your heart. Oh, Virgos, this is beautiful. I feel something beautiful for you. I'm going to get some messages now. I feel it. You guys, I got chills. And when I get chills, it's telling me it's, it's beautiful energy coming in. All right. Messages. I, okay. I do not know who's under these decks. I know a lot of you know this. I really don't. They're probably going to pop out. But I have Scorpio, meaning transformation. The old Virgo is gone and a new Virgo is about to shine. I have everything connecting for you with love, the two of cups. I'm telling you, I got a funny feeling you guys are, if you've been single or you've been in a situation feeling like there's no love, something's coming in for you to connect and you're just going to have this sense of love all around you. Whatever's been kind of like in the ghost land, something's going to shift fast and you're about to catch a dream. You have your hand out. You've learned something about strength. A new chapter is about to begin. Spirit guides, messages for Virgos about this reading. If you can tell Virgos anything today, what would you like to tell the sign of Virgos? Thank you. Strongest messages about this reading for the sign of Virgos. What would you like to tell the sign of Virgos, please? Messages about this reading. Anything? No, good. We're done. <gasps> I see some of the cards. The Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Earth. The Five of Wands, and here comes the Knight of Love. All right, these are messages, you guys. Spirit is saying, it's, it's time for you to know what you deserve. This is the Queen of Earth. The Queen that's put in, a, that's put in the hard work, the nurturing Queen, the intuitive Earth energy of Queen. But this is about you guys holding on to what you deserve and knowing you're going to get it. 
Stop allowing other energies to block something. Take charge of situations in your life. Spirit guides, hold on to your own earth energy, your hard work, your beauty. Because here comes the night of love. Spirit is telling me something's coming in for you, Virgos, and it's a lot of love. Stop allowing other energies to block you from what you deserve. Stay in your truth and integrity and watch what's about to change in your life. And it's with the queen of love. Oh, my God. And the king of love. Oh, Virgos and the nine of pentacles. You guys, this is love. This is something's coming in for you to connect with love. It could be a job. It could be a new relationship. It could be a commitment, but Spirit is saying, stay in your own truth. Stay in the King of Steel. Stay in the visionary energy. Hold on to what it is you deserve. Spirit is saying, there's something come flying in at you, Virgos, and it's something of a lot of love. And hold on to something you truly have worked hard for, and I believe it's yourself. Stop allowing other energies to block you from what you truly deserve. I feel sometimes people say things or, or try to block us. Spirit is saying, if you go after everything you want with love and hold on to what you deserve, watch, watch what comes flying in at you because something in your life, and I already said it, is about to change at a drastic rate. And you got the dream catcher. First card to my left, I got the magician. I love this card. I see. I got the five of swords sideways. You know, the five of swords sideways is telling, it, okay, swords are words, thoughts. Spirit is saying, stop getting your manifestations all over the place. Focus on the one thing you truly want to come towards you. Believe it will come towards you. Stop allowing words or your own mind effery or other people's mind effery to block their manifestations. You must believe what you believe you will receive. That was a message. I have your Ten of Cups, your ultimate happiness, and I have the Five of Pentacles in reverse. Spirit is saying what's coming towards you is everything you want with love and your happiness. The Five of Pentacles, it's time for you to lay down any type of self-fulfilling prophecies that nothing will change. Because what's coming in for you is massive change. And it's a lot of love, happiness, you guys. Everything is going to feel like this is it. I got it. The dry desert is gone. The ghost lands are disappearing. I feel like Spirit is saying be open to everything because it's coming in for you, Virgos. I got the Six of Swords. It's the light at the end of the tunnel. The last card they gave me is the Ace of Swords. The truth, the clarity, the vision, victory, and success. Spirit guides are telling me you're going towards the light at the end of the tunnel. 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 I don't know why I said tunnel. Maybe Spirit is saying, stay in the power of the sun. It's going to lead you into the right direction. And you are handed the truth, the clarity you need for victory and success. Something's coming in to make you feel happy again. I saw happy, happy. This is your ultimate happiness with love. The five of pentacles in reverse. Goodbye, ghost lands. This is the same energy as ghost lands upright. It's like you're feeling isolated. Nothing's moving. It's in reverse. Spirit is saying, Virgos, be open to what you deserve. Spirit is saying, here you are, the nine of pentacles, you. Appreciation, self-mastery, feeling whole. And get ready, you're about to start new chapters, the world. Oh, Virgos, I love your reading. New beginnings are here, you guys. It's the one ring circus, the new moon with the world. Take charge of situations in your life. Stay on top of your body of emotion and stay in this energy of power. And Spirit wants me to say, watch what unfolds. Know what you deserve. Lay down the burdens from the past because what's waiting for you are new, beautiful love beginnings. Watch. In the next few weeks, watch how your energy shifts. It's just going to be things that are just coming at you. You're just going to be attracting everything. I say for all you single Virgos, you need to start going out and meeting people because something's about to open up for you. If you're in a relationship, things are just going to start flowing in the right direction with love. Watch. All right, I'm going to get some angel messages now for you, Virgos. I love you, Virgos. All right, angel messages always tie this reading together for you. That Ace of Swords is a card of victory and success. The Six of Swords is telling me it's the light at the end of the tunnel. You can breathe a sigh of relief and get ready, make new plans. Because I'm telling you right now, here comes the night of love. I feel like you guys are just attracting all this new love energy your way. Spirit guides, some angel cards for the sign of Virgos. I'm going to do one more shuffle. Yeah? All right. There we go. 
What would you like to tell Virgos today from the angel cards? Two to three cards, please, for Virgos. Angel cards for the sign of Virgos. One or two more cards, please. If you can tell Virgos anything today, what would you like to tell them? <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm going to put one right here. I can't see the last one. I see these two, and this is what spirit guides want to say to you. First card on my left, Angel Michael gave you the five. I saw some fives. I saw the five of swords. This situation doesn't serve you, whatever you're getting yourself into with your thoughts, because Michael is air. Release your attachment to the outcome. Consider taking a more uplifting approach. Oh my God, didn't I say something about the sun? I feel spirit is saying it's time for you to just move forward and be ready for any possibilities because new beginnings are rolling in. Put your hat in the air and let it fly. Something's coming in to push you towards the light at the end of the tunnel. I got the queen of Ariel, the queen of earth. It's the same energy, you guys, from your messages. Nurture yourself and those you love, my beautiful Virgos. The ability to make anything more beautiful, practical, and wise advice. I just feel like you're coming into this energy of beauty, attracting abundance. Ah, oh, I gave you the six to Gabriel. Angel Gabriel gave you the six. They're all lined up. I don't know who the last one is. Congratulations. You've done a wonderful job. Time to move on to the next project, the new journey. Awards, scholarships, and promotions. You guys, it's like Spirit is saying you've done a wonderful job from whatever you've been through. Get ready. You guys are going on new journeys, new love journeys, new happy journeys. The last card they gave me, Angel Michael, has one more thing to say to you, the eight of Michael. Started with the five. We're finishing off with the eight. So Angel Michael has to say to you. Angel Michael always shows up in your readings. You can be free, Virgos. Make a courageous choice to change your situation. Not seeing things clearly. You are handed the Ace of Swords. Spirit guides are saying, what you have in your hands will set you free. The gate is open. You have the truth. You have the clarity for victory and success for all your new happy beginnings. Get ready, Virgos. You're going on new journeys. And what I feel is you're going on new journeys and it's with love. I, I just feel it, you guys. I feel it. Everything is coming together for you right now. A path has been cleared. Something in your life from the ghost lands is switching to the dream catcher. Beautiful reading for you today, Virgos. Congratulations, and God bless you. That was beautiful. I am rolling into love crossing, and if you guys are in a harmonious relationship or not dealing with anyone, they're not going to be for you because you got all this love coming your way anyway, so here it comes. Anyway, you guys, thank you for viewing me. Thank you for your love and support. Have a beautiful Sunday and amazing next few weeks. Get ready. I'm telling you, hold your bag open now because something's going to fall in. It's going to be love. I feel it. All right, you guys, I'll see you next time. Thank you. Okay, for those of you dealing with somebody, I am going to grab one deck, one for now, and then one for their, their intentions. I'm going to do the Rider weight. I haven't used it in a few days. These are the strongest love crossing, you guys, and they may or may not be all your person. Some of these energies can be moved around. I go by how I feel in the cards. King of truth. Crossroads. And then I have the high priestess, Pisces energy. Somebody's being very stubborn about giving you love because they know you're holding on to something that you deserve. And they're wondering if this should be a completion or it should be a new somebody's on the fence about starting something new here with you because they're still dealing with something that hurt their heart with you crossroads indecision compromise but the king of swords is telling me somebody can be a little you know the king of swords is a very very beautiful king but it's the king of integrity their own truth you know the king that doesn't sway but i kind of feel somebody's still dealing with a broken heart but they're in this energy of just being stubborn like they know what their heart's telling them to do but they're not doing much about it because they're at such a crossroads love crossing my virgos have been dealing with strongest what would you like to show me please strongest love crossing energies for the sign of Vir virgos thank you strongest love i see Anything else? I saw that card the way it flipped around. 
I have the Knight of Wands, the Eight of Wands, the Page of Pentacles, and the Six of Cups. Wow, somebody wants to come flying in and offer you something, Virgos. I think this person is starting to realize that there's something they have to make find a peace, peace with you about. I feel that they're getting the determination right now to come flying in. I think they've made their mind up. Six of Cups, Queen of Cups, and Justice. Someone wants to try to balance something with you and make it right. Just letting you know. All right, first card on my left. Here comes the King of Pentacles. The Five of Cups is sideways. King of Pentacles is a beautiful king, but it's the king of success. It's a very stern king when it comes to its finances, its work, its money. But I feel this is a person who wants to crawl out of being in a sad energy. They are a success. They want to be a success. They, they're trying to become a success. But there's still something emotionally that's weighing on this king. It doesn't have to be a Taurus. Seven of Wands is sideways. It's a person who's getting tired of standing their own ground. I feel whoever you've been dealing with has been realizing that perhaps they've been standing on their ledge a little bit too hard. Because there's something about you, Virgos, that they know is a divine connection. And they can't stop feeling this love connection. Come on, you guys. This person's flying in. I got the Eight of Wands and the Knight of Wands. Right now, they're trying to figure out how to do this because it's the Knight of Earth. Now, this is a very methodical night. Making sure every step they take is going to be the right one back to their Virgo. Somebody's coming in, Virgos, and they're deciding right now. The retrograde is over. The fog is being lifted because here comes the fool. Somebody's taking a leap of faith. Somebody's going to jump in, Virgos. You guys are going to hear from somebody this coming up week or next week. This person right now is tired of fighting this connection. They know it's a connection. They are in an energy of wanting to be a success. They're all about work, stability, finances, but they want to get out of this rap. They're still, they know that they have to make a peace offering with their Virgos. I got the Six of Cups, the Lovers, the Two of Cups, and here's the Queen of Forgiveness. I have someone who wants to come in and try to make this right. They want to come back into the sun. And I feel this person is fearing that something between the two of you may be, be, may, may be uh, la 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 may be blocked. The Three of Wands with the Four of Pentacles because they're realizing that this is their ultimate happiness and they want to speak some, they want to speak some truths with you. They're, started, they're tired of feeling in a stuck position. They're going to try to offer you something here, a giant peace offering, a giant solid beginning. This person is tired, you guys. They have been trying to claim their personal power. They're trying to be being resistant to love. They can't do it anymore. It's like all of a sudden a fog has been lifted and they're starting to see the truth and clarity of something here. They're going to come in. They're going to try to make a victory with this. They're going to, they're going to try to offer you something. They're, they're taking a leap of faith. For some reason, I feel whatever you've been dealing with has been in a little bit of a fog. Let's look at their intentions because I think I know what's going to happen. Huh. I see the deck in my head. I just got to find the deck now. And, and you know, I always see stuff in my head. Where do I want to use here? Hmm. Celt across tarot cards. Okay. Chariot, Cancerian energy, Eight of Swords, Seven of Cups, and my beautiful Virgos. Their intentions? Yike. Wow, I'm telling you, it's somebody who has a lot of determination, the King of Fire. I'm going to put them all back in and let them fly out, but that Ace of Swords. They need to speak with you some truths. They want the truth. They want the clarity because there's something that still eats at them at night. Their intentions, they want to get to their ultimate happiness. This is ruled by intuition. This is a person who's realizing that there's something with you that they need to get out of their head. They need to get out of their own way. They're, they're coming in. I just know they're coming in. They're tired of being disillusioned about the choices they've made with love. I think they made their mind up, Virgos, and I believe it's you. Oh, you guys had all that love coming in. Oh, Virgos. Here they come. I, I'm letting you know. If this is someone you want nothing to do with, well, you saw your reading. It was beautiful. Spirit guides, love crossing intentions towards my Virgos. What would you like to show me? Love. Intentions towards the sign Virgo, please. Next few weeks. Thank you. Anything else? Love crossing strongest intentions towards the sign of Virgo. Thank you. Got four cards upside down. Here comes a two of wands, the king of pentacles, and here comes the queen of truth. You know, the two of wands and the king of pentacles is showing up again. It's telling me it's someone who's getting ready to move forward. They know they have to make a move. This is their intentions. 
they need to speak some truths with you, Virgo. It's the Queen of Air. Now, the Queen of Air is all about truth, intuition. It's Libra energy, but it's someone who wants to communicate with you because they want to get something ignited. It's a passionate brand new beginning. It's a passionate brand new opportunity. They just feel something here might be blocked, but they're determined to break the barrier. This person is determined to break the barrier. They want to get you back. They want their ultimate happiness back, Virgo. Here comes judgment mm -hmm. and the devil. Wow, what a combo. You guys, this person is getting ready to get past the fence. Judgment is a card of realizing that there's situations in their life that are not serving them, that they are not tied to. They are releasing it. They want to reverse something new with you, Virgos. The devil is Capricorn energy, but this is a card telling me that this is a person who wants to let go of something between the two of you that's been toxic. Something in their life that's been toxic. They're starting to see the light. Just saying. Here comes the Four of Swords, and the last card is Someone Wants a Reunion. The Four of Wands. I'm right on the money. The Four of Wands is the 11-11. This person in the next few weeks is releasing something in their life that they feel has been toxic energy around them. They're getting ready to go past the fence. They're coming in, Virgos, and they want to heal something with you. This is a card of healing. Laying down the heart, laying down the mind. They're giving up a fight for a reunion. The 11. This person is, I'm going to tell you right now, in the next few weeks, someone's coming in. They're tired of fighting something. They're, they've been in some type of, of fog energy, I feel. And all of a sudden, the dust is cleared, and now they're like, what the? They're coming in. They want their Virgo back. They want a reunion. All of a sudden, they're just going to be like, oh my gosh, my Virgo. They're, they're, this person's coming in. They're coming in. They want a victory. They're going to realize that something that's been toxic in their life, perhaps their own behavior, or they're realizing that it's time to let it go. I, they want to reverse something new with you. So you guys need to get ready. I'm just letting you know. Because everything's coming together for you in the tree of love. You guys, I'm telling you, I feel love energy coming in for you. Something that's been in the ghost lands is about to shift and you're about to catch your dream. Beautiful energy for you, Virgos. A beautiful reading. I hope it helped you. Thank you for viewing me today, you guys. Wish you all many beautiful blessings. Much love and light to everyone. I hope this helped you today. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.